Hello everybody, Brandon Parker back again with another video. This time this video is going to be on something a little bit different, talking about another operating system, one that you probably never really heard too much about, or you probably have, but you ne never paid too much of attention to it. Like myself, I never really paid attention to this operating system. I haven't re really given it a chance up until a couple of days ago because I really, really do like Apple. I love everything about Apple. I love the direction and where it's going. I've been upset a little bit about Windows. I really don't like it. So what I'm going to be talking about is about Linux, and um, which is called Ubuntu Linux, their operating system, which right now it's on 13.4, so yep, 13.04. So, and when you install, uh, well, not install, but when you download it, you're going to get this right here, which is the ISO file, which Windows has ISO file, and you, you can install this on Windows. Pretty much that's what it's meant for, to be installed on Windows, because you can install it on a Mac, but you have to do uh, something a little bit different, which is either have Parallels Desktop, which is what I'm using, or VMware Fusion, which are virtual machines where you can run it virtually, and then install it that way, which is a lot easier because on Windows, the only thing that makes it hard on Windows if you're installing it on a Windows computer is you got to know that you're going to be wiping out your Windows operating system and you're going to have Ubuntu as your main operating system now. But Ubuntu is a free open source platform, so you don't have to pay anything for it. You can download it for free, use it, try it. It even allows you to try it before you install it. So when you want to... Um, put it onto a CD that fits it or do a DVD for sure because the DVD will fit it for sure because a lot of DVDs are like one to well two to like four gigabytes big and you can install it on that and then get like cheap DVDs and do it that way you might be able to do it on CDR I don't know a lot of CDRs that I've come across a lot of over like 700 megabytes big this is a little over 700 megabytes so you're probably going to need a dvd anyways so you're going to get this right here and then you put that there and then and just install it like you do windows if you know how to install windows uh just boot boot it up through the boot, boot disk install it that way and there and then you Take it to the instruction on doing that. Then once you have it, this is what will come up. So, yep. And this is what comes up uh, by default other than the background because I changed it to a pretty cool background of just a random card that I just found that looked pretty cool on the internet. Uh, so that it wouldn't look so boring with the background because it'll just be a plain red, yellowish background, whatever. So, and the default... Uh, layout of this okay is uh, this is the default because I have different platforms that you have to use terminal for so uh, this is the default once you install it okay layout mine's gonna have the dock on there already because I already installed the dock which is called the car Rio however you pronounce it and this is what it looks like as of right now and the dock uh, transforms to the color of the background so the desktop uh background is the color is pretty much more like gray so that's why the the which is not a dock this is a launcher so the only problem i have with this layout and that's why i installed different lay uh desktop layouts because ubuntu is an open source platform where a lot of people are testing it out and developing for it so they're testing out different versions of it so there's different desktop layouts this one is a default, and I really don't like that you can't really move the launcher. You can't move it to the right, or you can't move it to the bottom or to the top. Like you can on Windows, you can move the taskbar wherever you want it. You can, the only thing you can do here is hide it, but that's about it. You can't really do anything else. Have it hide and automatically show. I really don't want that, because i just rather have it show all the time, but I want it on the bottom. So in order to do that, you're going to have to install a different platform. And to install different platforms, you go here. And just like Windows, right here has, uh, just like Windows right here, uh, especially on Windows 8, you can search for your application whenever you install. So it's similar to like Windows 8 with that a little bit. But what I like about this over Windows 8 is like the start menu is not overwhelming. It's not more like a touch screen. It's more like 
a computer, you use your mouse, you just type it in, search for your application. And Mac d does that really, really well as well. And that's what I hate about Windows 8 and why I prefer not to use Windows 8. I'd rather, if I have to use Windows or if I'm doing anything on Windows, I just prefer win Windows 7. So I'm going to search for uh, the dock that I have. Okay. And this is the dock. And you're going to uh, want to install this. Search for it under Software Center on uh Linux, because they have their own version of their own store, which is a small one because Linux is not really that big. So, and a lot of stuff on Linux is pretty much free. So, really, nothing really on Linux is uh, uh, is really you have to pay for because Linux, like I said, it's just a test operating system. It's in development and it wants people to try it out, see what you think. And it's more, more for like developers so you can develop for this if you want to, if you know how to do stuff with developing for computers and stuff. And Microsoft and App and and uh, Windows have, have their development tools, but I think Microsoft and even here is better for development because if you want to develop for an operating system, try, try developing for Linux, try developing for Apple because Windows, especially with the new Xbox coming out, which is called the Xbox One. I really, really, really don't like the direction of where Windows is going. They want to charge you for every little needy, greedy thing. Even if you already bought it, they still want to charge you if you want to use... Play an Xbox game at your friends. I want to play... Okay, say I bought Gears of War. And I want to play it at my friend's house. Well, guess what? They're going to want to charge me to play it at my friend's house. Because they want to use a stupid serial number. I bought the game. I want to play it. Don't charge me again. But what if I want my friend to borrow it? So maybe he wants to buy it. He wants to borrow the game. Or... Yeah. Yeah, because they think we want everything for free. And that is not the case. Everything I have on my computer, I have bought. Everything I have on my PlayStation, I have bought. And why don't I have an Xbox? That is why I don't have an Xbox, and I'm glad I never got me an Xbox. And I've had cousins that have an Xbox, and quite frankly, I don't really like Xbox. Xbox is, is, is lucky that they have Halo and have Gears of War. Cause that's the only reason why I ever wanted to play an Xbox, just to play Halo and Gears of War. And after that, I'm like, screw you, Xbox. PlayStation already has Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was already on PlayStation first, and now Tomb Raider is for Xbox, so nope. So yeah, so that's why I don't really care too much about Microsoft. So we're gonna search for uh, Cario for the dock, okay? Uh, C C A I R O, okay? And you search for it here, and you is, this is how you get your dock uh, right here, and it'll come with its own. Uh, desktop layout so you can log into to that desktop layout of this dock and you install this since i already have it installed it's going to ask me if i want more information about it it's going to give you more information if you click on it tell you what it's all about and it says it's already installed so i don't need to install it again it's just going to ask me if i want to remove it remove options there and okay so right click on this if you want to quit that's what I do because I'm so used to doing it on a Mac because a lot of programs, you exit out of them, but it's still open. So you have to right click on it on the dock to make sure it's closed. So I do that. So I'm used to doing that. But some uh, programs that will have the X minimize and maximize button uh, on the top uh, left. Sometimes it'll be on the top right, but mostly it's on the top left. So they're not really trying to copy Mac by doing that, I don't really think, because the layout doesn't look like anything, kind of reminds you of Windows just a tad, just a tad, but it's more of it's a standalone, more of its own operating system. And so, and then I'm going to search for terminal. Uh, another thing, if you want to install the different platforms, I'm going to show you here in a second. So we're going to go to term, mm -hmm. terminal, okay. Okay, so now I'm in terminal. Okay, and this is uh, what terminal looks like. You probably might already know what it looks like because uh, Windows, if you ever touched it, I don't know if you have or not, whoever's watching me, 
don't know how much you know about computers because a lot of people, pro probably some people that, especially that watch my videos, are learning from me, so they don't know much about computers. But so that's what I'm here to show you is about Linux and stuff, and and so. But this is uh, what terminal looks like, and it's similar to uh, if you have ever used a Mac, and if you ever seen terminal on a Mac, it's pretty much similar to that. And this is where you type in your commands. And I'll put a link in the description to get the different desktop layouts, the commands to install them. Because you're going to need to install them through Terminal. Uh, a lot of stuff that you down, that you install anyway is going to be through Terminal. Some stuff you can do it through the software center and you download them on the internet. And some other ways you have to use the Terminal to install stuff like the different desktop platforms. So, okay. So you're going to use the Terminal for that. And... Okay, and I will click out of this. Okay, and show you uh, the one that comes, the one that this, uh, let's go to uh, the dock. There's a layout for that once you install the dock. Okay. And you're gonna be experiencing a little bit of bugs, buggy issues with this. Kinda expect that. So if you're scared to play around with the operating system, that has bugs and your computer might crash or whatever, then don't install it. But as of right now, I don't see my computer crashing with the little bugs that I came across on this. It's just because uh, I was warned about it on other websites when I was told uh, about installing these different desktop layouts that they don't mash well together when you have different desktop layouts. Because these are like, uh, it's still Linux, but there are other desktop platforms, but they're still with the Linux layout a little bit. They're just a tad bit different. Like, like this one right here. This is uh, the Coop 1, 2, 1, okay. And this is gonna have the uh, taskbar at the bottom instead of on the top. Cause it's on the top cause the way that I, uh, well, cause not the way that I, just as the default layout, it, it's on the top. And it's going to have the task launcher on the left. Or well, here, this one, it's going to have the launcher not, it doesn't have a launcher at all. It just has, it's pretty much similar to Windows, just has the taskbar at the bottom. And, and then you click here to go to your, uh, see, you click here, shows your, just like Windows 7, because Windows 8 is a little different, but this is like Windows 7. And right here, just like Windows pretty much. Your computer, uh, your applications, all that's installed, and then you're gonna go to here and search for it. It has some games uh, that come with uh, Linux, just like three games. It has card games, just has like just a few, not many, just the basic ones. Usually the the same basic ones that came on Windows Seven, card, solitaire, all that, just the basic ones. And then this right here. This is uh, switching between uh, different desktops. Uh, if you want to activities, sorry, switching, showing your desktop. Okay. And so this is uh, pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it is because I have my a dock that I installed. I, I don't really like the dock there. You can move the dock to the top, but I'd rather just shut the dock off and not use it if I'm going to use the layout. But since I want my layout to look similar to a Mac, to the Mac's layout, I keep it like that. Because I like the dock. I like to keep my de desktop clean. I don't like have too many icons on it. Just a few. And even then, I more than five icons on my dock, I mean, on my desktop, on top of my background, is just too cluttered for me. I, I'd rather have at, uh, just have it clean as possible. So that's that. And uh, this, of course, this is from um, my dock. So, but it has the uh, the time, and you got to be careful with it. You got to play around with the clock a little bit because it might be in military time, which is twenty one eighteen, or it's twenty three eighteen, which is eleven eighteen. Yeah, I thought it said twenty one, but I I looked at my uh, clock off to the side of my com uh, computer, and it's eleven eighteen. So it's actually. 2318, which is military time. The hour before the 
midnight hour. So, okay. So I'm gonna log out of this. Okay, uh, we're gonna log out. And you can have uh, icon pictures for your user. You can just same as Windows, same as Mac. Uh, you can you can have different ones, but I just use the default because this ain't my main operating system. This is just operating system that I have to play around with. Okay, so other ones uh, like Mate, it's pretty much similar to uh, Kubuntu layout. It's pretty much similar other than the fact that uh, uh, you can have like the, the color of it is different. Maybe reason why the color of it and if you have the dock installed it makes your background into a white screen so it adds the black bars on top and the bottom. And that's why if you so if you're playing with these different uh, desktops on which I'm going to put the uh, the code and everything and how to put them in the terminal so you can install them. Uh, if you're installing these, make sure you take note that, like I said before, you, there's going to be bugs. Make sure that you install the platforms first before you install any programs. Because if you install like all of this before and you, and you get too many bugs and it crashes, then you're going to be upset and then you'll be like, I just waste, waited all this time installing and all this now you're going to be angry so just remember that okay so this and uh, this is where you go to your applications right here all this and i have a different theme installed i even put a link in the description for that and how to uh install different themes because you can theme your uh, desktop a little your layout which i can go here and i can go to my change my background and my themes will show up which background themes so themes see this 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 all that i've installed i i made a dot like dot themes folder for some of the themes that i installed so that's gonna show up here so that's why i see them here like this i installed this and these just came with it especially this uh layout okay so that's pretty much it. it. You can kind of see that it's like right here. This is pretty much similar to Windows. Uh, you can see that your trash and all that. Unless you want. I'd rather have the trash on the dock. I should have it here as of right now. Uh, I need to do that. And that's the only thing I don't have on there right now. So we're going to log out of this. And I might get uh, log out issues. I might. Or okay. I'm good. But sometimes I will. Oh, actually, I just messed up. Oh, I screwed up again. Yeah. I logged back on to the same. Uh, give it a second. Oh, yeah, I logged on. I logged back on accidentally. All right, to this. Because I'm going to show you the, the other two that really are not much different than this. Uh, which is... Okay, which I'm going to click on this. Okay, and the other two that I've installed is this and this. They really don't look too much. Well, like this one has its own dock, but the background is going to be all white. And this is why I don't like it. You can't change the background. It's not going to, it's not going to let me change the background. It's, that's why it's still white when I log into it. It's going to be. It's just came out, I think, and it's pretty new. Because when I went to the website to get the terminal uh, code to install this, I was like, how come I can't change the background? And then I, I was warned about it anyways, that it was brand new. So so be warned that it has bugs. And this is, I don't really like this at all. It's the dumbest. It comes with its own dock, but you can't really see it because... Uh, I have a dock that I installed on it. But you can kind of see, see like right here. See, that's its own dock that just came to the front. Yeah, I don't really care for it. So, yeah, see this. You can't really change too much of it. I think it's also because I have other desktop platforms installed on this. And, yeah, it's like too... I don't know. You can't really do anything 
too special with that. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So, so yeah, and then these two are the same. Uh, this one and this one, they're just a tad bit different. But just I just got to note, well, you got to note that if you install these two, you might have uh, logging out issues. It won't let you log out. It'll give you a bug and it won't let you log out. For some reason, because it doesn't, I I don't think it works really well with the. Uh, it works too well with the. With the other stuff that I've installed, because sometimes they have bugs when they're smashed together or installed together. They these should be installed separately, but like I said, this is an open source platform, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. Let's see if it'll let me log out without any bugs. Okay, see, and then the logout is a little bit different. Logging out. And uh, another reason why I don't like it is for the fact that, two, again, I'm having my background widescreen and it's not logging me out. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's not logging me out. And see, I got an error. Yeah, see? So I'm not, I'm not using this at all. I, I, want, I wouldn't use it. At all for me, especially when I have different platforms installed, so I gotta restart the whole computer in order to get out. It'll install me, but since I uh, installed Kubuntu, this is the way it's gonna boot up because it, it should say Ubuntu and have a purple background instead of it being all black. That's the default way it's gonna do it if you don't in install any of the platforms. But since I installed Kubuntu, I guess this is the way it looks. So you got to be careful on that too. So yeah. And it's probably going to automatically log me back into that. But it it should log me out of it. This time. Because sometimes I have to in restart. And then when it logs me back in. Then I can log out. Sometimes that happens. Because like I said. It's having a problem with the different platforms. See like now. It's going to log me back in automatically because the way I have it set. Or not. Okay. Sometimes uh, it depends. Okay. So I'm going to go back to this that I that came with my dog. Because this one down here is pretty much similar to this. And I don't want to get another bug. And then have to restart it. And this is the layout. That came with the dock once when I installed it. Yep, right here. Okay, all this right there. And this is the way I prefer it for right now. I'm going to keep my uh, computer like this when I use uh, uh, my desktop like this when I use Linux. This is how I'm going to use it. And Linux comes with a free uh, program that's similar to Photoshop, which is GIMP. I think GIMP is meant for Linux, but it's also for Windows and Mac. I know it's for sure also for Windows, but I'm not sure about Mac. But I think it is for Mac too. I just don't really pay attention. I haven't really paid attention to it other than I know that it's similar to Mac because, I mean, similar to Photoshop because, uh, let's go to, um, let's see. Let's go down to, Oh, I don't need to go down to anywhere because I already got this uh, GIMP. So, right here. Down on my dock. And uh, I'll show you real quick that it's similar to Photoshop. Get 2.8. This is, uh, uh, you right click here or you go to File. This is, uh, you go to File. New. Or right click anywhere there see crash report because I had an issue from the last uh, dang thing okay and this needs to go away though yeah I need this oh and this actually see it has the X and see it's a little bit different sometimes it has that and this right here see that X and see it's a little bit different than Mac and Windows see the X is on the left but the maximizes on the right so you'll notice that difference here with a lot of this uh, on uh, Linux. 
and, he, and see this, you can resize it to whatever you want. So that's similar to Photoshop. has the eraser, the, the color picker tool. It has all oh, that's pretty much similar. It has the even the text tool. Now all that's similar to Photoshop. All this right, and it's a free option. You don't really have to pay for this because I even looked it up to make sure it's for free. Even if you wanted to get it, get it for Windows, I I know it's it's for free because I didn't see a price for it. So I'm pretty much sure, guessing that it's for free because it it was installed here on Linux. I didn't install this. I saw it on here, so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So yep. So that's it on that. And that's pretty much it on this overview of uh, Linux. Uh, yep. That's pretty much it. All I have to say is I recommend it over Windows as of right now to try it. Uh, give it a chance. See if you like it. Because some people may not like it. In my opinion, I like it over Windows. I think it's going in the right direction. I think it's fun around, fun to play around with. Especially if you're someone who wants to play with another operating system and see if there's something better, but you want a free option. Hey, it's for free. You don't have to pay for a lot of stuff that you're using on Linux. I I I'd recommend it for that just to play around with. And GIMP is pretty much similar to Photoshop. It's a lighter version of Photoshop, so it doesn't have all the features Photoshop had, but it's pretty close. Uh, pretty similar features, so. That's pretty cool. So, that's pretty much it on this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for um, uh, subscribing if you subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, thanks for watching all my videos if you've been watching me. Uh, also, don't forget to check me out on Fantasy Art for my gaming videos. I try to do gameplay videos there every day. Uh, unless I'm busy with my other two channels like Spinock or this channel doing a tutorial video Then I'll take a break there to do that and stuff and but I try to do gameplay videos every day There and stuff. So if you want to see me every day go to my fantasy art links in the description to How to install different platforms how to use terminal and install stuff because you're going to be using in terminal if you're using a uh, and the next, you're going to some, sometimes use Terminal to install stuff. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description and explain all that stuff. So my description is going to be full of stuff. So so check it out if you want to install different desktops and you want to install uh, the dock, all that. So, yep, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And when I see you guys, I'll see you guys later. Until next time, and that is it.